train and now uh, another long journey, about another three hours on the bus here up to the uh, devastated region, which is clinic. With uh, Christopher Quaid with the uh, U.S. Embassy in Tokyo. Uh, Christopher, you know, we're heading up to some of the most devastated areas right now. In a way, is this really what your intent was? Is this really the purpose of this trip? Yeah, this, this is, for me at least, the, the centerpiece of uh, Mr. Ripken's visit here is, uh, this is where it all happened back on March 11th. Uh, we're here in Iwate Prefecture, which is one of the hardest hit by the, the earthquake and the tsunami. And um, this place has had a tough time since March 11th, and so for, for Cal to be able to come here and meet with the kids and um, share some time with them is really going to mean a lot to them. Uh, you're going to see it on their faces, and I, I think um, this is going to generate the most media interest as well in terms of, uh, of the Japanese press and uh, why Cal is here and what the purpose of his visit is. And the media interest can only help, right? I mean, you want to raise awareness. You want to get companies and the public to step up. You do. And um, this is, you know, at the embassy, we've been pushing this uh, Tomodachi initiative. Tomodachi is the Japanese word for friend. And uh, one of the things we're trying to do is, is get help from uh, corporations, private companies, and, and uh, other places to help fund the recovery and the rebuilding efforts that are going on in this part of the country. We're partnering with Major League Baseball to do that. We're hopeful that the, the Ripken Foundation will be able to help out as well. But um, just having Cal and his team come here uh, really means a lot. And I think you know, you're, you're going to see great coverage in, in the press, and you're going to see lots of photos of, of smiling kids and uh, baseball players having fun out on the field. And that's really what it's, uh, what this is all about. I should mention also that you know a lot of the fields up in this area, the baseball diamonds, were damaged or are unplayable because of the tsunami or efforts that happened afterwards. So um, part of the reason that Cal is coming here is to is to bring baseball back to this part of the country. Hey Brady, we uh, just got off the bullet train. We're on a bus now for the next couple hours going out to the devastated areas. What are your expectations out there? In Tokyo, you, know, you, don't, you don't see the devastation, you read about it, you hear about it. It's not until you have I've talked to several people who said that you can't really grasp the devastation and damage until you see it firsthand. So, um, again, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm interested. In a way, uh, this is this particular part of the journey is really why we're here, isn't it? I mean, Absolutely. You know, these are the people that need it the most, the people that have been the most devastated, the children who have been uh, orphaned uh, by the hundreds of thousands, uh, lost, lost their parents, lost their relatives, and uh, have had to go without the bare necessities of food, water, and shelter for since March 11th. So uh, this definitely is why we're here, and we hope to bring some hope to these people. Cal, we, uh, we just came through a lot of the very heavily devastated areas. I mean, it really seems to be one of the main reasons we're here to see these folks. I mean, what are your impressions of what you just saw? Wow. Um, you know, I really had mixed feelings because uh, in many ways we're on a bus and it feels like we're touring. It doesn't seem like, uh, you know, what we're seeing we should be touring. Um, my eyes tend to go towards all the efforts to clean up and, uh, you know, the positive side. And I couldn't stay out there watching it, uh, you know, too much to, to walk around almost as if you were, you know, touring a city. Uh, it started to get to me. So um, I, I found myself coming back on the bus much faster, much earlier. Uh, I guess just being being comfortable sitting, seeing it through the windows as opposed to walking out there. In a way, you know, in, in the next hour we're going to be meeting some of the kids and the families that were really lost everything here. I mean, it's really the important reason for why we're here, but it's also way different from what we experienced in Tokyo. Uh, will you be any different? I mean, do you, what, are you prepared for that? Uh, I don't know if you're prepared for it or not. Uh, I do know that uh, there's more reason to try to get, get them to smile and laugh. Um, you know, 
uh, I can't fathom. You know, you're trying to sit out there and kind of see, okay, the water was up to 50 feet high or it went this far down. And the size of the, uh, the damage is, uh, is what's amazing to me. But it's even more reason to, uh, to kind of do something fun, uh, you know, focus on what you can control, what you can do. Um, even in a little way, um, it's got to be, you know, worth it to get the kids to uh, just take their mind off of it for a moment. Um, back home, you know, we have so much, and I don't think that the news gives justice to what really happened here. I mean, you know, do you agree? I mean, it's hard to really kind of wrap your head around it and compare it to what our perception of it was. Well, I mean, I can't, I can't fathom it. I mean, to see the damage, to see the steel bent, to see all the, uh, there's one living tree. Uh, that was over there that uh, still looks sort of dead and kind of hanging up as a symbol. Um, I can't fathom you know, what took place here. Uh, you know, you, you can allow your mind intellectually to think, you know, the whole, the whole town was, uh, was just taken out. Um, but I think I, I tend to focus on, uh, you know, the productive parts, the, uh, um, the people out there continually to work and, uh, and, 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 and make the space better. And um, you know, pour your energies into something productive as opposed to kind of sitting there thinking, "Man, look at this." So wow. uh, I don't know. It's just a, maybe it's my way of, of focusing on the positive. But uh, we're going to have a good, a good clinic. We're going to have some good fun, and we're going to try especially hard to get these kids to smile.